In perhaps the most puzzling of decisions by Disney, they have decided in their infinite wisdom to come out with a brand new Disney Plus show called Agatha All Along, the sequel to WandaVision, starring the villain that most people don't remember from that show a few years ago. Katherine Hahn is back, baby, as Agatha. But not actually as Agatha. She's playing someone else in this first episode, which I'm going to cover with spoilers because it's been out for a couple weeks, uh, maybe just a, a week. I don't know how long it's been. Time has no meaning anymore to me. But I'm going to cover this first episode. And as a treat, if you like this video and it does well with the engagement, I'm going to cover the entire series. So let's see how it does. Come on, join me. Let's, let, let's talk about it. Before I dazzle you with what will surely be one of the greatest recap videos you've ever watched, if you wouldn't mind casting a spell on that subscribe button, it's just below this video somewhere, unless YouTube changes it, then I'll look like an even bigger idiot. Just hit that thing, that way these videos will show up in your feed in the future, you won't miss an episode, which I post movie reviews and occasionally TV shows every single week on the channel, I would love to have you. This episode fires up with a mystery. We have a dead body on our hands, fam. And the face is covered up. Although the wardrobe seems awfully familiar. Skinny jeans, hooded sweatshirt, looks awfully Wanda Maximoff to me, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're going to start, though, with a new character. One that we actually know, but are unfamiliar with all the same. Her name is Agnes O'Connor. She's a tough-as-nails, no-nonsense detective who's been put on leave. Why? Unclear. I don't think it ever goes into the details, not that it matters, because this entire first episode is almost entirely pointless as far as the murder's concerned. Because you see, Agnes, not actually a real person. It's nothing more than another one of the witch's elaborate conjurings to keep Agatha at bay. Trapped inside a mind prison. I've been there. It's not great. For the first, I'd say, 10 or so minutes, I had no idea what this show was. I knew it was related to WandaVision, I just didn't know how. It's actually a sequel. At first I thought it was a prequel, then I thought it was a sidequel, then I thought it was a who the fuck knows all. It actually turns out to be taking place after Wanda Maximoff is dead and gone. The dark holds are all destroyed, I think is said at some point in this episode. It's hard to keep track of anything in the MCU anymore. But here we are with this character, this detective, who's rolling up to the body. The cop tells her that she's been pulled off of her leave because she's the only one that can solve the mystery of this murder. Helping her to get her bearings is Aubrey Plaza's character, Rio Vidal, an angsty younger witch. That's a stretch for Aubrey Plaza to play who's going to help get her back where she needs to be. Side note, Katherine Hahn and Aubrey Plaza, who previously worked together in Parks and Rec, they're great. I love these two actresses. They always put in good performances. That said, Katherine Hahn, as this detective, annoyed the shit out of me. I didn't believe it for a second. I know it's supposed to be corny, over the top, schlocky. She's chewing gum like this. Like all the standard cliches you find a detective do. I didn't find it fun though, I found it annoying and obnoxious to watch. I was also spending most of the episode just kind of puzzled as to why we didn't get a recap from WandaVision which came out a million years ago, and how we get very little context as to what's going on in this show. There's a teenager boy witch, I don't know what they're called, is that a Wiccan? Is that a warlock? Wizard? Is it Harry Potter? I don't know. This kid doesn't do much in the episode. I'm sure he's going to be tagging along uh, on, on further misadventures, though. Fine. Whatever. There's just very little happening in this show right now. It's only one episode, and it's, it's like 20-some minutes long. These Disney Plus shows go by like a drink of water. They're done and over with before you know it. They go by like a drink of water. That, that's just an expression I came up with. I have no idea what that even means. These episodes go by faster than the Tron ride at Magic Kingdom. Like, I waited in line for an hour and a half to go on a 20-second ride? Are you kidding me with this? Why are people waiting for this ride? When this episode winds down, Agatha is going to be revealed again. She's going to get out of her trance that she was under. She's pissed. She wasted three years of her life in this stupid little town. And also fight Aubrey Plaza because I guess they're enemies. This leads to a very crappy fight scene. It's sad to say that this is the same company that once gave us Iron Man and freaking Infinity War, but this is where we're at now. Uh, little cartoon shenanigans in the living room, throwing chairs at each other and bopping each other on the nose. It's embarrassing. 
It really is. And this is the point where I was like, yeah, I don't think I like this at all. WandaVision was different at the time. It was fun. It had a cool plot. I liked the idea of switching different time periods and how Wanda is in her own grief but forcing these people prisoner just so that she can get over the loss of vision. That was cool. That was a unique idea. This doesn't really seem to have much going on yet. Maybe it will get better. Again, I'll cover it if you guys want me to. Let me know in the comments, like the video, get the engagement up on this, and then I'll do an actual play-by-play -play of the next episode as I watch it. But for a pilot episode, this was a letdown. Really did not get me on the hook for watching more. I found Katherine Hahn's detective to be cringy as shit. And Abra Plaza does not get a lot to do in this first episode, so she couldn't even save it. Also, these shows typically lead you down a path of what you can expect for the rest of the season. I have no idea what this show's even about. Is it just Agatha rising back to power? Uh, okay, well, what are we going to do with that? It doesn't seem to have a very interesting path laid out in front of it, but we'll see. Well, we'll find out, I guess, in the future. Let me know if you watched this, though, what you thought about it. I'm scratching my head trying to figure out who the demographic even is for this show. My kids don't care. Uh, you know, they're, they're kind of in the, I would imagine, age group for that. A 12-year-old son and a 15-year-old daughter. Neither have any desire. My wife was pretty checked out. I'm really not into this at all. And I liked WandaVision. So who are you going after, Disney? Explain yourself. Let me know though. Please like the video and again, think of subscribing. I post movie reviews, TV show reviews every week. Would love to have you stick around. I have a second channel, Adam Does Rants, where I'm bitching about first world problems in a comedic fashion, hoping that you get some laughs. And now these shows are available in audio form and video form on Apple Music Podcasts or whatever they call that thing and Spotify Podcasts. So lots of ways to find me and hopefully you do. See you next time.